Okay, guys, now we're doing a comparison of bikes. Bring over the mud bug. Yamaha made three very nice bikes. He's made a whole bunch of nice bikes. I'm hoping they're gonna love my, this. But come in, yep, Tyron. Right, you're a farmer and you need to choose a new bike. So what is the good points about the ag? It has a carrier track. It has a carrier? Bike. Yep. What else? It's low power. It's low power, so it's good for puttering around. Mm -hmm. Correct? No, she's top quality power. Yep, what else is good about the egg? Comes small. It's low. Yeah, it's low. That's very good. Yep. For big farmers, they don't want to be climbing onto a big tall bike. Um, what else? Good Look. motocross bike, hit and jumps. What's good if you go out at night time? Like See, it has lights. Like that. Okay, like this. This is actually late model LED kind of light, <laughs> which um, is pretty cool. What else is good about the egg? You can't really buy them anymore, can't you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> hen, like hen's teeth. They're going to become collector's items. Okay. Um, all right. There's a few other things. It's got a stand. All right. That's a cool thing. Okay. It also is cheap. All right. This egg cost me um, about eight hundred dollars. So that's actually a good thing for farmers because we're all broke. Um, what else? This is the stainless veneer. And it's also cheap to fix. You know, like a piston kit for this thing is probably a hundred bucks. So, you know, you could give this a complete rebuild for, you know, two or three hundred dollars yourself or even a shop's not going to charge that much. So that's good. It's also quiet. Okay, start her up. And that's good because when you're sneaking around at night time getting your cows, it's in the back. Okay. Um, uh, you know, people aren't going to like that, are they? You know, or the cows are going to get rocked up. Now, what's good about the FX? That's four stroke. Okay, it's got a stand. All right, guys, concentrate. This is very important, it's gonna be in the exam, okay? What else is good about this bike? We went through it before. It's safe, okay? It's much safer than the AG because it's got good suspension. And when you get real angry and you're boosting around the paddock trying to cut off a cow, you know, you're gonna go over bars on the AG because the suspension's gonna bottom out. But on the FX, got good suspension so it's going to soak up all the bumps really good and it's got good brakes because then if you're real you know you're boosting down the race and someone's chucked the tape across you know and then you see it at the last second you could die but if you've got a good bike like the fx it's going to you're going to put on the brakes do a stoppy and you're going to be safe all right and your wife is going to love you for that because otherwise you're going to be in hospital and she's going to be milking the cows it's got nice suspension it's got good brakes um and oh and it has a recluse clutch so that actually turns it into like an auto egg or a CT90 on steroids, basically. <laughs> so this is obviously the best bike to have on your farm, okay? But and I think seriously big muffler. What's that? It, but it's too noisy. That's right. So we need oh. to go do something about that. Perfect. All right, and it's cheap to run because it's a four-stroke, and it has very good resale value because you know after a year you can sell it to some local boy and he can fang around on trail rides. All right, guys. Now just to finish off comparing the different bikes, we've also got here a Peewee 80. Okay, now this actually is a very good farm bike. Um, they're very handy, like because they're so easy. It also has an automatic clutch, which is handy. And truthfully, if I was just rushing down here to get a bike to go and get the mail from the mailbox, I'd probably just grab the Peewee, you know, because it starts easy. You can chuck it on, you can carry a whole big load in your arms and putter along with the automatic clutch. Your kids can ride it. Um, they're cheap, you know, they're like 1500 bucks off trading, you know, so. Every farm needs a couple of peewees, but just you know, general mucking around jobs, kids to ride, that type of stuff. You know, um, very nice bike for women, backpackers and woofers who come here. You know, they, I can put them on peewees to go and do jobs, and they're not going to kill themselves. It's a totally good, safe bike. The other bike we want to cover over here, um, camera girl, is come over this angle so you can see the lovely shapes of it. It is the YZ125. Now, a YZ125 is actually a good bike to have on your farm. All right. There is a huge problem in New Zealand farming right now with sons not wanting to stay on the farm, all right? They all want to go to town and play PlayStation. So if you buy a YZ125 and have one on your farm, then you will get teenage boys and girls, you know, who will want to come out and help you because you've got a cool motorbike. Does that make sense? So that's very, a YZ125 is really better than the YZ250 on the farm because actually it is light and it's very easy to start. Okay, so, you know, women, um, teenagers, you know, boys from about 14 years old can ride these pretty good. Um, and they will be happy as to go and do jobs for you when they've got a cool bike. You can actually buy an aftermarket stand for them, which makes them like twice as good on a farm. Has a, um, you know, just a little bolt-on stand, about $180 or something. And um, that makes them way, way better. 
And truthfully, probably now you could come and buy a uh, battery powered headlight if you really had to. So, um, the good gather around. As you guys know, safety at the farm is paramount, okay? And I've been feeling that actually, the I haven't been feeling very safe on these ags, so I've had to buy a much safer <laughs> bike. All right, this one, because this bike has got um, disc brakes, which will make me feel much safer, and it's got much better suspension, which is also a lot safer for me. And I also had to fit a, um, a recluse clutch to it to make it also a little bit safer for me, because this clutch means that I can um, go riding around uh, the farm, doing farm work, and um, say I see a sick sheep or something like that. Now, everybody knows that if you see a sick sheep, you need to take it back and look after it, correct? So this is also animal rights things. Or, you know, a sick baby, orphan baby calf. Um, you need to be able to get the calf and take it back and look after it properly. So you need to have a safe bike, and you also need to have one that is a, a recluse clutch. So I put the bike here, and I pick up the 10 Bella as the calf. Oh, no. 